Good night, good evening, chocolate lover. Welcome to Chocolate TV episode 462. At least I think it was. Oh, got to check. 462, yes. Uh, today, uh, uh, supermarket brand, uh, thank you, uh, made in Germany. Uh, seems French, but it's actually made in Germany. And sold in... Uh, the Lidl supermarket chain. This is their one of their store brands. This is uh, dark chocolate, seventy-four percent, and it, it's fair trade. That means the farmer got a little bit better pay. I'm not sure because this is only one. What is one fifteen dollars? 1.6 euro no the other way around 1.6 dollars 1.5 euros ah, let's open up this one so for such a big 100 grand i wonder how much the farmer actually got Nice shine to it. Uh, oh, I didn't read the ingredients list. That might tell you something about it. 70% uh, cocoa mass. Sugar, cocoa uh, butter, uh, fat, reduced cocoa powder, emulsifier, sunflower lecithin, natural vanilla. Hmm. Yeah, fairly good ingredients list. Not too many strange things. Uh, and you see it, it's quite dark, uh, bordering on blackish brown. So let's. Good crap. Being very thin, but still good crap. Could indicate a good made, a very well made chocolate bar. Sorry. I got a problem with my eye there. Uh, so if I look a little bit, uh, it's because I don't see it that well at the moment, but that too shall pass. Let's sniff this one up. Mm, quite aromatic, uh, sort of a, a citrus like dry citrus with cocoa powder and tree bark. Not, not cinnamon, but filings tree filings, if you sand papered mahogany, that kind of smell. But a lot of citrus, this is lime and lemon, but dry, very dry. Hmm? Interesting, let's taste it. Didn't say on the package what kind of beans from which country. Kind of dark and brooding start. A kind of gooey texture. Almost growing into some sort of very fine grained sandpaper. Grapefruit business with a hint of lemon. I thought it would be more acidic on on the palate because of the nose, but there's more a dark brooding instead of citrus flowery. Quite a, a bold back end with a mix between mm, grapefruit, chocolate, and I would say blackberry. Interesting. Uh, very inexpensive chocolate, but very nice and fluid, different kinds of 
flavors and textures, I'd say I give this one 6 out of 10, and that's a bargain. Hope this is not a, f a fluke, but the, the keep on doing that one. So that's it for this Monday, and I'll be back in a week, I guess. You never know. Bye-bye.